What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again. I hope you guys are having a great day. And in this video, I want to cover heap sort. Now, heap sort is a clever algorithm. It's an n log n time algorithm. But what it does is it use the, uses the heap utility to quickly sort your elements. So right here in this nice little graph on something called OpenDSA, which is an open sourced um, programming learning project, I have a nice demonstration of a heap right here. And so I have something that fits the rules of the heap. I have a max heap and every parent is greater than its children. And it is a complete tree except from the bottom. And everything at the bottom is filled from left to right. Nothing is filled on the right side that is not already filled up on the left side. So now that I have my heap, I'm going to start sorting it. And the first thing you want to do in the heap sort is remember that a heap is just resembled as an array. As you can see here, I've got the zeroth element 88 all the way up to the last element 60, which is kind of a little off the page here, or it's just down below. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to switch 88 with 60. And I do that by simply simply switching the last part of the array. So I can swap a zero and the ninth position of the array. And now I'm doing that because I'm, I'm going to sort the array. So I'm simply going to do this by, you know, putting the, the last element, the maximum element in the last position of the array, because that's my sort, you know, I'm sorting already. So 88 is already in its proper position. So I know I never need to touch 88 again. But since I switched 88 to 60, putting 88 in the right position, the heap is now out of order because 60 needs to be the maximum element. 60 is not greater than its two children. So what I need to do with here is I need to swap 60 with its bigger child. So I bring the bigger child up. So the rules of the heap are still correct. So I'm going to swap it with 85. So I swap it with 85 and then so I've swapped it, but now 72 and 73 are still bigger. So I swap that with the bigger of those two, which is 73. And there you go. And I don't need to swap it with 88 because 88 is sorted and it's grayed out because, you know, it's out of the it's out of the heap structure. I've kind of taken it out of there for the sorting and put in a separate array. So now I can repeat the process. So now I'm going to switch 85 with, again, the bottom left the bottom rightmost element, which is 48. And then I'm going to reheapify. So then I'm going to go to 83 because that's the bigger of the two. And then I'm going to go again to 57. And now that's sorted. So then I'm going to do now I'm going to get the next max element, which bubbled, which bubbled up to be 83. So now 83 bubbled up and I can simply do that. And then I've got a it's called reheapify six. I'm going to switch it with the bigger of the two elements until it's not breaking the rules of the heap. So then I switch it with 72 and then I've heapified that part. So now I'm just going to simply go on to this next row right here. I need to swap 73 with 48. And so that's what's going to happen here. Now I need 48 to switch with 72, the bigger element. And now I need 48 to switch with 60. So now that that is now that has happened, I need simply kind of keep on doing this. And it takes a while, but I hope you guys get the the regular thing. So I'm going to go until I have nothing else to swap. And as you can see by this array structure here, all I'm doing is swapping it within the array, but it's represented as this heap structure. So then I keep doing that, you know, six is going to end up being my final root element here. And I'm going to swap with 48. And then I'm going to 42 is going to get swapped out. And 42 is going to get sorted. And then six is just left on its own. And I don't need to move six because there's only one thing in the one node left or one element left in the heap so that automatically becomes the root and then i have done so and then i've successfully done heap sort because i've successfully switched everything else and as you can see here in this array structure the the array structure i've successfully done everything is now sorted from least to greatest or you could do it the way you wanted to sort it but see if i have a max heap doing a heap sort sorts it from least to greatest and if you did a min heap if you had a min heap, it would be sorting it from greatest to least. So I hope you guys understand, but you could, you know what you could do. You could reverse the array if you wanted to do that or something of that nature. But this is an n log n algorithm because you need to sort n elements. And when you have to fix the heap, you know, bring the heap down, it's, um, it's a, it's a logarithmic procedure to 
sort to reheapify the heap because every time it's the same as a binary tree you know i'm going to be going down a binary tree so every time i make a decision i'm decreasing my choices by half you know when i go left or right at the root i can't visit half of the tree anymore i can't go i am so and when i make another decision i can't visit another half of my decisions so it's primarily an n log n algorithm worst case and best case well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great day.